Hello, hope you are all doing well today, and today we're actually starting a new game. This is Bomber Crew. Now, Bomber Crew has been one of those games that has been around for a while, and since it's had a bunch of DLC added to it, I thought I might as well check it out, especially since it was cheap, I believe, on Humble Bundle. Picked it up uh, about a month or two ago and never got round to it, basically because I got too busy with other stuff. And uh, I've done the practice mission, as you can see, one mission flown, one enemy fighter destroyed. Uh, so what we're going to do today is pretty much build a crew out of the people of the tech hub and we're going to go flying. And whenever somebody dies, it's going to be a big rip, and we're just going to bring in somebody else. So we're starting off with, of course, me, uh, Tech, and you do have to put in a last name here. Uh, so, you know, uh, you do have to... Uh, let's just sort this out first. There we go. So the basically uh, the the idea is is to recruit some people, uh, get them all ready to go, and all of that wonderful stuff. So uh, first of all, we've got myself, uh, Sergeant Tech Boom, because you need a last name in this game for some reason. Then we've got Tazzy, uh, who's another sergeant. He's our uh, navigator right now. We've got Rex, who's the radio op, and then of course we've got Dog as well as a gunner. We do have to recruit some more people, though, uh, to bring uh, people in, so let's uh, get started. It looks like we need a spanner person, uh, so probably an engineer. And uh, remember, we can just rename everyone if we want. Uh, let's see. So we've got Norman Ritchie, Gloria McIntosh, we've got Gowland as well. So let's see. Gowland gets two armor. His speed is 100%, but he's rubbish at everything else. So he's he's uh, not very quick, but he's survivable. Gloria has three seconds of oxygen, whatever that means. And she's a little bit nippy, but she doesn't have any armor. And Richie is a jack of all trades and has a bit of thermal stuff and some survival. So in my opinion, it's either Richie or Gowland, uh, Macintosh. Uh, oh, does have some survivable stuff as well. And let's see. So, who do we? Who wants to be uh, the first person? Let's uh, just do. Right, we can do it like this, okay? So, what we're gonna do? So, we're gonna pick up Norman. I think Norman is the way to go. Uh, so, we're gonna go Norman for our spanner person. Let's get the good lad in. And what we're gonna do is, uh, so I'm gonna think of a number between 1 and 20 and you have to type in a number between 1 and 20 in chat and if you get the right number first you become Norman <laughs> so Norman's our engineer of course as you can see you can even customize him yourself as well so yeah type top start, start typing numbers between 1 and 20 and let's get started with good old Norman. Let's give him a good stash. Always a good start with stash. Give him some black hair. Well, Kate's going for the 21. That's definitely, uh, <laughs> definitely a bit expansive there. <laughs> oh, God damn it. And there we go. Xanthra gets it. Number eight. So it's Xanthropod. As the first one, we are going to need a few more people. Let's just go for Xanth, and then you can be Xanth Throwpod. How about that? Does that sound good? I think that sounds good, right? There we go. You can have some wonderful black hair. And, oh, by the way, if you want any other customizable options, let me know. Uh, so, if you want, I don't know, different eyes. Do you feel like blue, or green, or black, or anything like that? And of course we have the skin color. Cool. 
crashes on the first mission. Yeah, that's what I'm kind of worried about. We're gonna have like uh, <laughs> we're gonna have like all the you know the main characters, and then everything's just gonna go wrong. We probably should get him some flight suits, right? Like get him some basic uh, stuff. Like, do we give him some winter stuff, or I think we just give him some royal blue, right? Or just a starter flight kit, you know. Let's just do that to start with. So Xanthra has all of the average stuff like we all have. Uh, let's see. So we're going to go for the uh, next one. Give them all winter jumpers? Yeah, that's true. So we need another... We need a co-pilot, right? So it's either Taloka, Cheka, or Doherty here. So let's see. Cheka's good with the thermal. Decent survivability. Nothing else. You, uh, Mary has nothing special. She's a dog breeder, though. I don't know what that means, uh, but <laughs> just is, uh, just is how it is. This dude's an Olympic shooter. I'm not sure I need an Olympic shooter uh, for a uh, <laughs> for somebody who's a co-pilot. Uh, so I think we're gonna go with uh, Marjorie Checker here. Uh, she's an amateur fly fisher. Uh, so that's always good. She's 22 as well. There we go. Co-pilot is in the house. And obviously all the pilots disappear, which is sad. So, a number between 1 to 10 for good old Checker. Let's see who becomes our new co-pilot. Why are you labeled as a gunner? What? Oh, no. Never mind. Gunner. It... it <laughs> Never mind, it's a gunner. So, a gunner instead of co-pilot right now. And let's see. You can't just guess all of the different numbers, Kate. That's not how this works. Oh, I missed one? I might have missed one. Alright, let's just scroll up. Yeah, there we go. So, Andreas got it. So, Andreas, with the 7, always a nice solid number, just make sure to get... Now, the question is, Andreas, as all good people need to be asked, would you like to be male or female? <laughs> oh, you did 7 first? No, Andreas got it just before you. You want to be male? Okay. Well, you're getting a tash. Because everybody needs a tash. Think bold is the way to go? Oh wait, that's not bold. That's kind of weird. Well, unfortunately, they don't have a non-binary option. What, you don't want a stash? What's wrong with a stash? Is that better? <laughs> there we go. Anyway, so Andreas is in. Let's get him his basic starter kit. We are losing a decent amount of money right now, but uh, I think that'll be okay. So, the next one we need is a Bombardier. So it's either McLean, Boyle, or King. Uh, King has a lot of armor, so he's a bit tough. Then we got Clyde. Clyde has a bit of armor. Got good thermals. And then McLean has no armor, two thermal, and that's about it. So just looking at these two, I have no idea what any of the street the traits mean. Um, so it looks like Paul is the way to go. So we'll pick up Paul. And this is the last member. So once again, 1 to 10. Put your numbers in chat right now. Let's see who becomes the wonderful Paul King. And it is Serrate Swallow. So a Serrated Swallow with the 8 coming in strong. I can't believe that's the name we're going with, but sure. <laughs> God damn it. Now remember, one of the wonderful things about this game is I'm an awful pilot and many people will die. So, uh, don't worry too much if, uh, 
you know, don't worry too much that you didn't get picked because I am pretty sure that eventually we're going to have a lot less crew members and therefore, you know, everything's going to go wrong and we're going to have to bring in some more people. So we've got our general presets. Am I supposed to do training now or something? So we've got Tech, Xanthro, Tazzy, Rex, Dog, Andreas and Swallow right now. There we go. And uh, so training wise, we should probably get a skill. I think this is how this works. Do I have to click on it? Oh, so this is just what we're working on. Oh, Xandro, you're useless. Where's all your stuff? Let's see. Tazzy has nothing either. Oh my god. Everybody just has nothing. Right, emergency landing or bailout? I think we go for emergency landing, right? And then I tried my best, right? So this is... <laughs> this is what I ended up with. Uh, as a... Uh, this is what I ended up with as a wonderful machine. So you can see it's a Lancaster, we've gone for a little bit of the punk idea, definitely edgy, I agree. Uh, it's got the Tech Hub logo on it and uh, my perfect artistry has created this wonderful logo, <laughs> which is just so bad. Like, look at it, oh my god. Uh, we've got some engine art. I mean, we could change it, maybe, to the Tigers. I think the Tigers look really nice. I mean, the good thing about the DLC is you get a bunch of stuff that you can, you know, bring in. We could put our wonderful logo on the sides as well. What is that leaf? It's perfect, Rocker. That's what it is. It's perfection. Okay? Look at it. You know what? It's such perfection, we're putting it on the wings. And then, of course, we have the Tech Hub uh, bit on the side, so... Yeah, the reason why I went uh, black as well with the general library is that on others, it's kind of hard to see everything. Uh, but you know what? We could maybe have some votes and uh, see what people want to see, you know? Canada weeps at that leap. It's good enough, and that's the main thing, okay? That's all, that's all we need. So engines, we just have the standard ones, nothing crazy. Uh, we don't even have a ventral turret. Oh my god, I can't afford a ventral turret. And I, I don't know how to get the research stuff. I'm guessing I just need to play the game and it'll give me it over time. I don't even have extinguishers. Like, everything's just bad on this aircraft right now. I can put some equipment in it. But why would I want to do that when I don't even know if I have any? So let's see. Can you name... One of the crew after me? Yeah, we're going to do some, um, uh, like we did before, basically pick a number and then do it like that. Unless you guys want to do votes, like we could do straw polls to see who wants to, you know, run into the chopping block next. Uh, if somebody, you know, if you want to sort that out. So, the overview is this. It doesn't really tell me what to do, so I'm guessing I need to go into a briefing. The problem with doing the tutorial like two, we like two weeks or two months ago is the problem that uh, you kind of forget what was going on. Uh, so I'm guessing we can't do secret weapons yet, so we just have the main campaign, enemy fighter aces. We've got Gunnar Gunther, Felix Feeder, Franz and Fritz Blitzer, Donna Keel, and Nico Natraya. So we get some money if we shoot them down. Where are my missions? When are we... B oh, do I have to click this? Oh, there we go. So, short duration, low... Oh, it's bomb rung practice. Okay. So we're just... We're doing some practice now. Make sure that we can get everything sorted. Set up a dummy target to bomb. Well, that's always a good start. I oh, can even... See oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, it's so bad. Alright, off we go. No, that's the wrong button. How do I turn the camera? Ooh, I don't like those controls. That's dodgy. A and D to turn? I'm not sure about that. Right, I'm guessing we need to raise the gear. Perfect. Leaving the landing gear lowered will use up more fuel and expose them to potential damage. Well, luckily, we put them in. Select your bomber aimer for the start of the mission. 
on the nose turret. Move your bomb aimer to the bomb station. Alright, go over there. Tag the bomb t Why? It's going too fast. Don't forget to keep tagging enemy... Like... Where is the target? What? Do I have to go over there? Alright, so... I've t I think I've tagged the target. The European Canadian Boomer? Oh, great. <laughs> the European Boomer. Where's the target that I'm supposed to be looking over? I'm so confused. Oh, there we go. So we spotted the target. We've got to zoom in. There we go. Open the Dwight Bay doors. Oh, we're just going all out. We're just going all out. We're just dropping everything. We're just going to absolutely twat whatever's on this ground. So this is Swallow. Hopefully Swallow can drop the bombs on target. Or at least hopefully his eyes work. That's basically all we, all we need him for. It's basically to make sure his eyes are alright. And... Pop. Oh, that's a problem. So, I destroyed the training target. I didn't realize uh, I should have dropped them a little bit earlier. But now we need to take a photo. Go to investigate reported activity off the coast. We might as well close the door since we have no bombs in. Andreas is just chilling. So is Dog. Got, of course, Rex on the radio, I think. And Tazzy. No, actually, I think Tazzy's on the radio. God, these controls are a little bit janky. Tag a for graphical thing to go over it. You've course plotted? What? Wait, what? Where am I going? Oh, here? Okay. Alright, so we need to... You take the pictures, right? Yeah. This guy takes the pics. It looks like there's some ships or something. Targets on radar at sea or ground level. So we're just gonna stay low, just so we can take the pictures. I did tag a new waypoint. See, I'm taking pictures of the boats. Perfection. Now we just need to get to the other one over there. I have to get back to the airbase safely. Right, so that means we don't need the bombardier on his position anymore. So Swallow can get back onto the main gun, just in case we get attacked. Perfect. I think. Maybe. So Rex is the ability man. Tazzy... Oh! Well, it's kind of nice that you get this nice little like loadout thing. You can kind of see where you're going. It tells you when the next waypoint's going to be as well. Oop. So Xanthra seems to manage the fuel. Oh, you can transfer? Oh god, so if an engine goes out, or if you're lose using fuel, you have to transfer it? Oh, Jesus. This is going to get complicated real fast. People are definitely going to die. Oh! The hydraulic system has broken down, it must be repaired. Right, Xanthro, it's time for you to get repairing. Don't forget. Navigation markers. What? Oh my god. The navigation markers are going to be really annoying to sort out. Do I have to click my pilot every time to do that? I don't know. Any of your crew can repair, but your engineer will repair them fastest. High level engineers will repair them faster. Wonderful. God, it's taking ages. I can't even imagine, like, what if we have a bunch of different malfunctions at the same time? Like, everything's just gonna go wrong. 
Let's see. Hydraulic system is fixed. Don't forget to keep tagging. I, I have been keeping tagging. I think. Right, there we go. I probably need to put my gear down at some point. So just put it down now. I hope. There we go. Go low. I think we already are low. God, this is a hell of a lead up. I think we're far enough now. Where the hell are you going? Do I have to do it again? Is this really how far the approach is? It's kind of crazy. It should be good for fuel, though. Oh, I forgot to put Xanthro back on his station. That's something I'm, I'm really going to have to remember. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep forgetting that uh, I need to put people back where they go. 1000 G turn? Yeah. No wing overload here. I feel kind of bad for the wheels, though. <laughs> They've had to take a little bit too much uh, stress. God, you can tell my dudes are level 1. Dipping and diving, whipping and uh, flipping. Come on, get down. And we have, wow, we have the brakes of a god. <laughs> Holy Jesus. Uh, so that was the tutorial mission, I think. We got some uh, moolah, 900, but we didn't get any of the research stuff. Oh, there we go. Return to base bonus, no slow time bonus. So that's good. Everyone got it back, or everyone came back in one piece. I mean, if if we had failed the tutorial, then it definitely wouldn't have been uh, wouldn't have been great. We're still all only level one though, so that's a bit of a problem. Should be able to go straight into the next mission though, uh, unless unless we want to get that extra gunner, the ventral turret, this one. Um. You know what we're going to, even though it looks like it's uh, looks like it's put in the wrong way, <laughs> but it should be all right. Since we have no other points, I don't think we can really do anything. Maybe crew training. So let's see. I'm guessing when they level up, you get skills to use, so... The aircraft is good. The briefing is ready. Let's get back in there. Oh, we've got three targets. Oh, dear. This one's low risk. What do we have to do? I mean, it's a secret, a secret weapons one. This is low risk. No. Can I not go... Oh, I can go back. Okay. So this one... We are bombing the top battery, which is an artillery set. This one, Connaissance has identified enemies' motor factories, so we're doing factories on that one. And this one, Spitfire pilots run over the channel, had to ditch the drink, locate him. So this one is a pitcher, a reconnaissance. This one, we're doing a bit of bombing. And this one... We're doing a motor factory. They they all have the same rewards. So the only question is, uh, do we which one do we bomb? Right? Do we do we go for the motor factory? Do we go for the artillery set, the battery ammo dumps, or do we save our pilots? What do you think? Or we could go and uh Go into Dusseldorf <laughs> and uh, go and have a look at some stuff. I think uh, we'll hit the motor factory. That's probably... Oh, save the pilot? Mm. Nah, screw it. It's probably the safest. I mean, I, I'm guessing we're going to have to do all the missions anyway, right? So, shouldn't take too long. Let's get the uh, tech hub bomber into the air. I also have all the DLC for this thing. Uh, so therefore, I will be able to play the American side with the B-17 as well, uh, which will be fun. Right, there we go. Heading has been confirmed. Thank you, Tazzy. Let's raise the gear. Oh dear. I looked a little bit dodgy. 
Supplies must be dropped from low altitude. The container has a parachute. It will drift if dropped too high. Okay. Let's have this guy in the bottom. So we're approaching London. Do I need to go higher altitude or just stay here? That, gu that gunning position looks horrific. <laughs> it looks really bad. Oh, God. Alright, so headings confirmed. We're going over London now. As you can see, uh, that is exactly what London looks like. Don't let anybody tell you different. Santa is just chilling. Making sure that nothing goes wrong. The only question is, uh, I'm guessing we put Rex on the turret? Because I don't think he's doing anything else. I don't even know what his job is. Oh, we got a new course. Whoops. Alright, we're going that way. So I'm going to stay at low altitude. We're, we're, uh, we're, we're over the English Channel, so... God, turning this camera is just a pain. Because there's like two views. There's this view where it wants to go like this, and then there's this view where it wants to go like this. But the problem is they switch the uh, they switch the camera direction for both of these. Clear area of enemies. Wait a second. Put Rex back? Okay. Why do I need to put him back? What does he do? Is he the... Ooh! Enemy fighters spotted on the radar. Oh, shit. Wait. No, I've got to fix this first. Something's gone wrong. I don't know what it is. Xanthra, this is your job. Right. Let's... Am I getting shot at? Oh, Jesus Christ. Wait a second. Right, let's target. Hit them all. The oxygen system is beginning to malfunction. Oh, Jesus. Uh, let's get you up here. I've got to target all of the... I think I've got to target all of these aircraft, right? To make sure that we shoot them all. There we go. That's what That's what we're looking like. Right. Electrical system has failed. It's never good. Xanthra is nearly done with that, though. Nice. Right, let's get on that. Let's get Swallow back to the gun. Tazzy's taken a lot of damage. He needs to get some health, I think. Yep, okay, so he's healing. So we've lost we've lost our navigator. Wait. No. I need <laughs> get back to your position. Where is the uh What's going on? Oh god, you're out of ammo. Right, just get more ammo. Stick it in. Right, we're doing okay. Anthro's doing a great job at trying to keep everything alive. We should be able to knock these guys out pretty easily. We need to get back to the mission objective. Otherwise I think everybody's gonna die. Oh my god, there's more of them. Definitely not in friendly territory right now. There we go. Oh, Jesus Christ. Everything's on fire. I'm gonna need to turn these engines off. How the hell do I do that? Do I need to go back here? Well, at least we've got some kills. Two more fighters coming in. Oh, one engine's out. That's good. Oh, repair's complete. Nice. So, uh... Tazzy's still nearly dead. Oh, my God. This fucking aiming system is ass. I think Tazzy needs to go to the rest bed. Right, so we've been shot up. We're okay, though. And this should be, I believe, the last fighter. 